You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff. <laughs> yes, this is a big tequila box. <laughs> Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez. Uh, I'm Mike Morales. As you can see, Alex is buried behind a box. Uh, we're, we're, we're tasting tonight, Alex, we're, we're, we're going to be tasting the three varietals of Dulce Vida. Um, show the, show the, show the people out there what kind of packaging that our samples came in from this company. Check that out. A nice little collection, huh? Yeah, that's very sure. It looks like the, uh, three flavors or expressions, a little bottle opener. And a little uh, agave syrup. Your agave syrup. Isn't that nice? That's really some beautiful presentation. That's very, when these bottles are not the full size bottles, they are the 375s, which are okay. Yeah. Um, I, I received the same packaging that Alex did. Uh, very easy for, for FedEx to send. And um, you're just now unpacking that, huh? <laughs> See, you I notice. I opened it. I just haven't opened the bottles yet. Now, here's the here's the interesting thing. Um, this this tequila claims to be the only 100 percent, 100 proof, organic tequila. Now, when you're pulling those bottles out of the contain uh, out of the box, Alex, look at the bubbles. Look at the pearls on the top of your of the oh. neck there. You're getting those are. You remember the old days when they said that's how you could tell a real good tequila if you flip it over and you get bubbles. Well, you don't get those anymore. Uh, very, very few tequilas do that anymore. Um, Dulce Vida is one of them. And these guys have been around for a little while. They're actually very well awarded. Uh, they're, look at their, their, yeah, their POS, their point of sale material is all kinds of information on them. Uh, the flavor notes are on the back. And uh, along with all the awards that they've won, they're 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 a highly decorated bunch of bunch of guys. I think there's like three three main owners uh, for Dulce Vida. They are actually based here in, in Austin. They have uh, if you look at their Facebook page, they have a couple: one in Austin, one in Houston, uh, one in Colorado, I believe. Uh, they uh, gosh, they've won best Blanco in the Texas Tequila Throwdown. 2010 double gold at the San Francisco World Spirits, 2011 double gold, uh, gold medal at the Beverage Tasting Institute, gold at the New York International Spirits Competition. Uh, this is some serious tequila. Oh, yeah. And tonight, we're going to be tasting the Blanco. The Blanco Tequila. See, here I am. I just want to make sure that the camera... I'm going to mug the camera for a little while because Alex is busy playing with his boxes. <laughs> this is the Blanco. Yeah. So these are 100 proof. They're 100 proof and 100% agave and organic. So, Alex, if they're worth a darn, this would be the first tequila since we've started our Brands of Promise Award that would be nominated for... Uh, for overproof, overproof, that's right, and organic. So this, this, these guys could very possibly, but we don't know. You know, I, I, I've had them before. I've had this one. I've opened it. You have never tried it. I, what I will tell you, Alex, and you know this as well as I do, when we, when we try Tapatio, which uh, those hundred proof tequilas will sneak up on you. So, you know, as We'll, we'll be sipping wisely on our end, for sure. Oh. Look at the bubbles. Watch for the bubbles. Yes. Bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Yeah, I can, as soon as I opened up the bottle, I could smell the, the, uh, the earth. Yeah. Coming out of that bottle. Yeah, it's, it, it's really got a nice nose. But you know what? Here, I, right now, <clears throat> mint. I'm getting mint. I'm getting herbs. I'm getting wow, <laughs> strong, strong herbaceousness. Maybe a little citrus. 
We have mint, citrus, lemon. Lemon or lime in there. Yeah. You know, and I've always said, Alex, these tequilas that are well made and they're at, at, at a higher proof and sometimes at, at, at lower proof, lower than 40 ABV, uh, are really good, uh, in my opinion. But these overproofs. Very floral. Yeah. Very, very floral. I mean, this nose will be talking to you a lot. Now, yeah, just, have a little bit of uh, proof. Tequila be talking to you. <laughs> You be yeah, you be talking for sure. Wow. Mmm. 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 Wow. Holy cow, man. Whoa. Heavy retro nasal. I'm still getting a lot of alcohol. Uh, but you know, that's to be expected with an overproof. Um, you won't lose this one in the cocktail. I'm speechless. Me too. <laughs> and I've been through about half a bottle of this 375. And um, it is an intense Blanco. It's, a, it's an aggressive attack. It's a, it's, a, it's a very floral nose. And then the attack on the, on the, on the, on the intake... Um, it kind of over delivers. You think this comes in like a lamb, you know, you, it goes in like a lamb, it comes out like a lion because it really, you got that punch, man. Uh, according to the website, which is really a sharp website, uh, these, uh, I had understood that they were getting their agave from Narayit, from the state of Narayit. The website says that they are uh, Highlands agave. But they're not telling us where. I mean, we assume Highlands is Jalisco. Um, what what we do know, uh, according to the website, uh, it is uh, the distillery is uh, known 1443 Ignacio Cerro Gordo at Campanario. Uh, they compost these again. This company Dulce Vida is very very eco friendly. Um, you know the, the the you can tell that they've really done a lot for their image, um, their packaging, um, the the distillery that they chose. I had heard through the grapevine that the, these guys are very very deliberate as to where they get their agave, how they're sourced, um, and let me let me find let me find out very quickly who's their certifying agency. This is one of the few organic tequilas that does not use BioAgriCert. They are using another company. Um, I can't read this label right now because my it looks like it's, uh, it's, it might be foreign. Well, yeah, uh, it's, either, it's either German or, or uh, yeah, it is true, I think. or Italian. Uh, the German, uh, there's a couple of German companies that, that do certifying uh, for organics that really have, have uh, led the way for other, other certifying agencies. And I, I, I applaud these guys for not going with the one that, that everybody, every organic tequila seems to go with. I like that, they've, that they've, they're really mavericks in the business. <clears throat> and I can't say enough about this. I, I, I love their packaging. I love what they've done with their, with their marketing their logo you don't see this being poured down somebody's throat um you know you wouldn't anyway uh they have a a, a lot of awards what's to say man this is a triple threat as far as i'm concerned it's a it's a very powerful blood i would say handle with care um <laughs> yeah. you know you could you could serve it you know uh, with soda, you know, with, with uh, uh, on the rocks, you won't lose it in any cocktails. I, I'm sure their website has a lot of signature cocktails as it's well. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Actually, this, oh, this there it is. Really shine through in a uh, margarita. Yeah, if you use a margarita for as a base cocktail, 
you won't lose this in a margarita at all. But it's not it's not the flavor it's not the flavor profile that I'm used to with with the overproofs. I I'm pretty sure uh, unless they can come up and tell me that I'm wrong, but I I don't necessarily think it's a Highlands. I think it's I think they're getting it from Nada Eat, which has a different flavor terroir. Uh, either way, this is a outstanding blanco. Uh, handled with care, I would say this would be. I want to. I'm going to go on record and say this is a brand of promise nominee in three categories, Alex. I, I think so. Uh, we're looking at at total packaging, overproof, and and, organics. and organics. These guys are a triple threat because I really, really think that they have they have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's screaming at you, man. Holy cow. Now, now here's the thing. I think he's going to put me to sleep right now. Yeah, we got to be careful. But here's the thing. We still have the Reposado and the Anejo to do. It'll be interesting to see to hear what your your thoughts are when we do those because um, because they're also overproof. And will is it is it going to, you know, what's it going to do? And we won't know until we we taste those. Uh, but in the meantime, that's our Blanco. I think it's a brand of promise nominee in those three categories. Um, and I'm Mike Morales. I'm Alex Perez. Buried, <laughs> buried in bottles. Sipping off the cuff on tequila aficionado, and as always, sip wisely.